Right, welcome back. Let's take you back to Boxburg for the first day of uh, the SACP's 14th elective Congress. And our reporter, Eldrin St. Pierre, is there for us. Eldrin, it's back to you. Well, uh, good morning again, Balisa. Delegates continue to make their way uh, to the SACP's National Congress, which um, is set to start in the next uh, few minutes, uh, expected to start around about 9 o'clock. And uh, we expect various guests to be part of, um, part of this five-day-long Congress. Quite an important Congress, and I just quickly want to bring in the Central Committee member of the SACP, Yunus Karim, on, on this one. Um, just taking off from the discussion that we had earlier on with, um, with Jeremy Cronin, and this was with regards to the SACP contesting the elections independently. And if you look at Chapter 5 of the discussion documents that you have here, um, it speaks about um, the party and the state, but it also speaks about the alliance and reconfiguring of the alliance. Well, firstly, the decision about how the party participates in the 2019 election will be decided at this Congress. Uh, I think the key issue is reconfiguring the alliance. The SACP feels that the conditions have changed dramatically from the pre-1994 era, and the current way in which the alliance operates is outdated. Moreover, as with much else in society, uh, the rank and file of the SACP have communicated that the ANC has lost credibility. And it's time for the party to look at reviewing the nature of the alliance, the terms of this alliance, and how the alliance functions. On the issue of participating by the ANC in the 2019 elections, of course, this Congress again will make the final decision with its 1,874 delegates. But it seems to me the discussion is more about state power, yeah. uh, one part of which is taking part in elections. And secondly, that if the party were to take part in the 2019 elections separately from the ANC, it will probably be part of a broader popular front. So in other words, those organizations that uh, broadly share the ideals and values of the Freedom Charter and who are conventionally defined in our language as a progressive mass democratic movement will be drawn in. So it will be NGOs, other civil society bodies, progressive trade unions, uh, the religious and faith sector and so on. In fact, we have already had one in Bizo led by the Communist Party to uh, poss uh, possibly explore the options of such um, uh, a process unfolding. Now, up till now, the Communist Party has been clear. Our most direct route to socialism is through deepening, advancing, and defending the National Democratic Revolution led by the ANC. But people within the party are now questioning whether the ANC is adequate to the task of fulfilling that NDR, National Democratic Revolution, and whether while the party should continue to work within the ANC, it should also uh, begin to prepare that the ANC will not be able to fulfill this National Democratic Revolution. And this NDR doesn't, we feel, we feel as the party, belong to the ANC. It belongs to the people of this country. Just quickly, on, on, on the role of the ANC and um, it having, uh, having lost credibility, is it the institution which is the, S, which is the ANC, the organization which has lost credibility, or is it the institution's leadership that has lost credibility and has not have an impact on the party itself? Um, because I, I think taking such a broad decision of whether the SACP wants to pull out of the alliance when it's just the interim leadership of the party that's there and who would be leaving come 20, 20, 20, the end of 2017, would that be a, 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 a sober-minded decision for the party to take considering that you've been part of the alliance for so long? Yes, it's not an easy decision. Uh, people of my generation in particular will find it immensely difficult for emotional and other reasons. But uh, we have a new generation of communists now, understandably, and they do not necessarily have the ties to this alliance as we did. And secondly, the feeling is that uh, uh, in the first instance, the current ANC leadership is not up to the task. In particular, as you know, the SACP has called for the resignation of President Zuma. Yeah. That decision was made initially by the Politburo of the SACP unanimously. There wasn't a single voice of dissent or difference. Again, the Central Committee met 
and he took the decision unanimously again that he should step down. So it's about him and his leadership, but it's also a recognition that you cannot separate him from where the ANC is, and unless there's a major change around in the ANC, to the Communist Party, it doesn't seem that the ANC will be able to fulfill its historic task of achieving the National Democratic Revolution. And so it is that the party is increasingly beginning to feel, and it will engage with the ANC further about this and the other alliance partners, that it's time to say that the task of the Communist Party is to defend the National Democratic Revolution as part of our own commitment to socialism. And if the ANC is unable to do that, and we hope it will be able to do it, but if it is not able to do it, then the party has to assist broader mass democratic formations uh, to create a broader popular front, which will be directed towards doing exactly that, advancing the National Democratic Revolution. Do, do you think at all, um, as it stands at the moment, if President Jacob Zuma steps down, that um, things would become much better for the ANC and much better for the Alliance. And just a quick one on whether you believe that under President Jacob Zuma's leadership, the Alliance partners, this is now the SACP, Sanko, as well as Kosatu, have been undermined in terms of the role that they're supposed to be playing as Alliance partners, equal Alliance partners, that is. Well, initially, in the immediate post-2007 Polakwane period, the door was widely opened by the ANC, not least by the President, for more concerted partnerships with the alliance structures as a whole and you saw a lot of space for communists, Kosato activists, Sanko activists to help shape the overall approach, strategy, tactics and policies of the ANC and that began to dwindle after the first few years and it certainly become <clears throat> much less the case in the last two years or more. Now we're not saying that the answer to the ANC's problems is for the president to resign. The president's symptom of a broader set of challenges that the ANC faces. And yeah, let us stress too, it's not as if the SACP are revolutionary angels. We also have our own sets of problems and we're dealing with them and this Congress no doubt will address some of them. But we are saying that the ANC is the leader of this alliance and that we've come to a situation where large chunks of the masses out there have no confidence in us anymore uh, and under the current leadership, uh, they've indicated that they won't vote for us, at least they'll stay away from the polls at the very least, even if they don't vote for any other party, as was evidenced in the August 2016 elections, and as is likely to happen uh, in 2019. So let us stress, yes, the call of the SACP is for the president to resign, but we do not believe that will solve the problems. We are saying that's only one aspect of a multi-pronged strategy that the ANC in itself in the first instance must seek to address and we cannot be prescriptive about that. But as partners in this alliance, we also have a role. And to the extent that the Communist Party has a role in helping the ANC and the alliance and the, as a whole to become stronger and to reach out to the poor and marginalized out there, we will play that role. But ultimately, we reach a stage now where we feel if the ANC is unable to self-correct, if it's unable to take progressive decisions, if it's unable to elect a leadership that's appropriate to the tasks, and it is unable to deal, to deal with state capture and corruption more generally, we will have no choice but to enter into a broader popular front, seeking to achieve many of the goals that the ANC initially sought to achieve. My apologies. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Yunus Karim there from the ACCP Central Committee. Let's go to a quick ad break and we'll continue with our coverage of this SACP Congress.